six fourteen and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Well, uh, Orca's on here, but they're Orca's not on there. Person. Okay, we're recording. Yep. So we've um, we've advertised this meeting in three public places, right? And on um, our website and emailed in interesting interested parties. Yeah. Okay, and hopefully they're interesting too. So uh, we can go ahead and we'll start with the minutes from the last meeting. And um, I didn't see any corrections. Did you guys I have any corrections? Either. I did not either. Yeah, so I I'll do move it. to approve. So Second. All in favor? All right. And then All right. we have okay. the June 6th. Then we have the other well. ones from the. I'm sorry, I don't write those on here. Yeah. The special, the special, yeah, meeting. special, special meeting. meeting on June 6th. Yeah. Didn't see anything there either. Did I you didn't no. 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 So I so move I'm to approve those. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> so um we've got do we have Aaron Lava Lava How do you how do you say that, Aaron? It's Lava Aaron Lavalley. La Valley. All right. Yep. And you're going talking about the solar project down La Valley. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. With me is uh, Eric Fanouf. Uh, he's my uh, our VP of uh, business development, um, and he's going to be doing the primary presentation tonight. Great. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to share my screen if that's okay. I think I. Uh, I don't know if you have to give me permission or if we're good to go. You can see it. Can you see my, you can see it? Yep. Great, great. Um, okay, so uh, as I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but we uh, have presented to uh, the Planning Commission last week um, for a preferred site letter because we need a, a joint letter or at least a letter signed by uh, both uh, the Planning Commission the Select Board as well as uh, the Regional Planning Commission. And we've presented to uh, Two Rivers Ottaquichi as well. Um, Typically, select boards uh, are presented to after we present to planning commissions because the planning commissions usually drive these things. Um, and so we're going to give you essentially the same uh, presentation we gave them, uh, which is really just a rundown of what the site looks like, uh, what the array will look like, uh, and then answer any of the questions that you might have. Um, as far as where we are in the uh, permit application process, we've done what's called a 45-day notice. What that means is we can't file uh, for a full permit until at least 45 days elapse uh, between when we sent that notice to all of the interested parties. And uh, we'll be coming up on that date probably about July 1. Um, so we're just trying to get our ducks in a row so we can finalize the application with input from everybody. Um, so this is a slightly revised uh, site plan from what we sent out in the uh, advance notice. And that's just based on some input of what different parties wanted to see on the plan. Um, these blue rectangles are uh, the arrays, the, the rows. So there's four of them. It's a 49.95 uh, uh, kilowatt array. Um, LCS controls is this building here. Their parcel outline is here. It's about one and a quarter acres. Um, the array itself, um, or I guess the fenced in area of the array is about a quarter or two tenths of an acre. Um, one of the questions we got from the planning commission when we, uh, initially presented to them just to introduce the project, they said, okay, uh, please just get a, a wetland, uh, delineation or professional opinion prior to formally presenting to us. And so we did that and we can share with you, uh, via email, which we did with them, uh, from ANR that came and looked and said, yes, there, there's no, there are no, no wetland issues here. Um, another uh, question or concern of folks, including ANR, was uh, where's the floodplain or the floodway, as well as a special uh, flood hazard area. And the flood, um, the floodway is about 255 feet that way towards the river, so it's quite far away. The special flood hazard area. Uh, it clips just about here. So it's it's not within the array area, but it just touches on the property line. So we're um ANR is satisfied with that. Um and that's kind of the general overview. Uh there will be some clearing. There's some you know smallish trees and brush in there, and these uh orange 
bubbles are the areas that will be clearing existing vegetation. Um, the array will be facing south, which is this direction. Um, so they're not, you know, they're not facing the road. Um, and that's about it from a real high level. Um, does anybody have any questions or uh, anything? Have you had any reaction from uh, notification of neighboring properties? Nope. So all neighbors um, get notice of the advance notice, just like you folks did. And we haven't had anybody contact us. OK, why is it being fenced in? Um, it's really for safety reasons. There are two, two ways that you can approach these things. You can either use what's called solar scrim, which is kind of like a screen, I guess, is the best way to think of it on the back side of the panels. And um, the thought there is, is to keep people's hands away from the wires, just like a fence does. It just sort of keeps people from messing with the system. Um, on this particular project, and a lot of them going forward, these panels are called what's bifacial. So they actually pick up uh, gain from the backside, more so in the winter than in the summer, because the snow is very reflective of the light. Um, and so if you put a screen on the back, you impair the efficiency of the production of the panel. Um, so that's why. And, and then on this particular site, you know, it's it's not too far from a road. It's not super remote. So uh, just from a discouraging of any sort of vandalism or anything, that's why um, we elected to have a fence on this one. It's an ag style fence. It's not like a chain link fence. It's a uh, like a black um, acrylic eight inch knot wire fence. So it blends in pretty, pretty good. But think of it as an ag style fence. Yep, I was um, involved with the planning board and all the presentations about this, and it all seemed to address everybody's concerns and interests. And I, um, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't um, uh, approve a um, letter preferred site. Right. Yeah. I can second that. That's yeah. your motion. Yeah, that's my motion. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Yeah. All right. Aye. All right. Yep. Great. Um, who would you, so we will send you, just so you have it in, in your file, um, a copy of the uh, ANR notice that there's no wetland, just so you can sort of paper that. And we sent the uh, Planning Commission a form that they could use for the preferred site letter. So they have that, but we'll, we'll email it to you folks as well. Who, whose email address should we use to send that stuff to? Um, you can email it to the town clerk. Okay. Okay. At uh, do you, and you, I think you emailed me before. Yes. Yep. That was me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Great. All right. Well, we yeah. really appreciate your time. Uh, yep. you know, no, hearing thanks us for the and, presentation. All right. Yep. Take yeah. care, folks. Thank you all. Bye bye. Thank you. Great night. Okay. All right. Um, next on the list, do we have um, Erica on Zoom? She's not in the room. Um, who is it? Erica Koch? Koch? No. No. No, not in Zoom. Okay. No. There she is. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's in there. Yeah. No. Um, I think that. Um, so, is it her concern was, um, is this from her about um, um, wondering about um, lowering the speed limit and posting the speed limit on Fisk Oak Lodge and North Hollow Road and posting children at play signs and um, asking about adding a stop sign at the corner of Fisk and Quarry Hill Curve. Um, we probably have to go through two rivers. Yeah, we'd have like to that, go maybe. through to be changing speed limits and such. And um, this one I've talked about before to make it clear who the stop sign is for at the base of Fisk and Bubbles Road. Um, nobody stops because everyone that thinks it's for the other person kind of stop signs in the middle and both roads come on an angle down below Corey Hill there. Marsh Book? No, no, no um, so on so Fisk Road. Oh, the okay. back side of the community. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes up towards Dickens. Clarify that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's not, um, yeah, changing the speed limits and such is not, um, not something that we're going to do 
pursue right now. Right it now, does, but it's a lot of that's enforcement too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you could change the speed limits, but you got to enforce them. And then you yeah. know we don't have the facilities to do that. We're, I'm working with uh, Rita at this time, but she's on vacation this week, week and stuff. And we're going to try to get the Bethel Mountain down to 40. Mm -hmm. um, but like like we both agree, you can do that, but you you got to enforce it. Yeah. You can put the signs up, but we're doing it more for GPS there and to coincide with Bethel because their site is 40. And she also was pretty uh, positive about dropping the village down to 25. So she thinks that that would be a good idea, but we're going to look into it when she gets up back. Is that a case. state? Is it, we have That's a state road, so we'd yeah. have to go through them. But because mm -hmm. there's a school involved in the village center, she said we might be able to get it that way. Um, so she was, she thought it was a good, a good place to try. So she's going to look into that for us. So, and that's something that's in the town plan and it's, you know, it's been in the town plan for, for a while, while yeah. and, uh, to look at that and that's would be an enforceable. That's where yeah. our, uh, patrol sits up on the park in the school anyway. So yeah. we'll see if we can't do that. He tried it a few years ago, and the state wouldn't do it. State, state wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. it. So, no, yeah. so Rita's going to look. Yeah, they may, they may have yeah. changed their attitude. We're going to try again. It's on the. It's in the town plan, so we got to try to do it. So. Martha has something. Excuse me. I just have a quick question for the board about um, the signs. You said you'd have to go through. June, you said something about you'd have to go through who, like, you couldn't change this, the. Uh, do you have the authority to do that, or do you have to go through someone else? It's a it's a process. We don't we can't just up tonight and say we're going to change the speed limit. You have to. Um, There's hearings and warnings and town input. Yeah. So it's, it involves okay. several months. And then you have to adopt an ordinance in the end that yeah. states where the where the change is, and you got to outline it that way. Yeah. So it's a yeah. lengthy process, and you and um and you can't make any decisions yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank What's you. What's the first step? The process. Uh, you got to do a speed study. We just did one on the Bethel Mountain through two rivers. They come and set up the, you know, the the counters, and they can tell you how many axles go by. We were doing it just because we wanted to know how many trucks were coming over through and what kind of vehicles. And they they give you all that information, the time and date, and you know, and they do it on a twenty four hour cycle. Yeah, I noticed the uh, yeah the yeah, but we just did that in May. And then she she was going on vacation, so we've got the, the you know all the stuff and what they found out and how, and it's kind of surprising. It's not as much as you'd think, but it's whether or not we're just trying to drop that to forty to coincide with Bethel, and she thinks it's a great idea to do that. So, so we'll that see. Was first step. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we can look at the signage and see if there yeah. are any deficiencies there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like so that signs. is posted at 35 and then we'd have to see if there, there's a would be a requirement for a stop sign there and it's almost the same thing as we have up by uh mike bowen's place where that road mm -hmm. used to swing right around the corner but now you got to stop when you're coming up you know from middle hollow and it's a through pass going mm -hmm. through to the, the upper one passes through yeah yeah what yeah. up by the old rockefeller place yeah yeah, yeah. so it's kind of the same position, so you'd have to stop traffic coming from both ways there. Okay. All right, well, to be continued then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, right, you guys, you had something you wanted to talk about? Um, yeah, I don't know if we're, we're since we're not on the schedule. We'll be, uh, the well, we can, um, but um, since you're since you're here and nobody else is, what the heck? <laughs> What? Uh, we, we're here uh, still pursuing our uh, septic issue. Um, we're, we're looking at different options and we're hoping to um, start the process of uh, being able to apply or uh, use the the town fund for septic. Um, mm -hmm. The town fund, which town fund? There's are you? a loan that we were told about. <laughs> The loan or ARPA funds? 
No. 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 For a failed septic system. For a failed septic system. Yeah. yeah. I think it goes through the trustees. Yeah. Does it? I think it comes out as a lien on the property. I was mm -hmm. talking to Marvin about it, and he mm -hmm. said it, what it does is, is it's an attachment to the property, and it's a no. I think he said it's no interest, mm -hmm. and basically it becomes a lien on the property until it's paid back. Until it's paid back. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're looking at. But I yes, believe the funds come out of the trustees. Yeah, so I'm, not, I'm yeah. not sure, but it's certainly not out of our general budget no 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 i think it's the trustees and this would be not for and this would be for hooking up to the town uh that or we have been talking with a um engineer engineer <laughs> about providing a new leach field mm -hmm. because we didn't know how long we don't want to get into winter and still right. not have any answers about the house like what right. ballpark that would be if it's possible, how much of those funds would have to come from us. We right. we haven't had any information about that. I guess it'd be good to get no prices either yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. compare, right. contrast, yeah. fill out paperwork because yeah. it's, you know, either way is looking like about 30 grand mm -hmm. and that's not something we have buried in our backyard. Yeah. <laughs> But we're happy to do any kind of paperwork. <laughs> do you yeah. have any input at this time? It's, it'd have to be all engineered, have to go through state. Mm -hmm. Pump station would have to get ripped out. For coming onto the town system. Yeah. 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 So, so that's why we're leaning more towards that's putting the side part. They should never allow that pump station to start with. But now the state would definitely not allow it. So, so you're looking at replacing your system as is. A new leach field. Yeah, yeah. like tearing the old one out and putting a new one in, basically. Yeah. Or basically the same thing we did down back to school. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ripping it out and putting in a new one. It's about all you can do. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, right, and is Cricket looking at that? Or? Is not. What's that? Is Cricket looking at that? Or what? Yeah, she has been. She's, she's been looking at it with us and yeah. giving us some feedback. And, I've talked to her a couple of times about the town one that's you know she just has to come up with a design on it. But. Yeah. <laughs> I so earlier on you were interested in this as a good excuse to upgrade the that little pump station. Is that still your well, why they would have to do it? I don't it's privately it's owned. It's privately it's owned. owned. Ah, okay. It's yeah. not town owned. It's not town owned. Yeah. yeah, and we would still maintain aseptic. So that's why we're thinking putting in a new leach field is a better option for us because mm -hmm. it would just be our liquids going down. Yeah. So to have to overhaul a pump house for three houses for and yeah. still maintain a septic does not sound like a very appealing option to us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'd, it'd be a lot of money because you'd have to have two yeah. <laughs> there. I wonder if there's any you have to have a double pump. If there's any so state money available yeah. for that, they so it's not have, cheap and it has to be water they ran out. Yeah. So many people plant. applied. Mm -hmm. so, <coughs> right. It's not going to be cheap at all. No. It's ledgy, but it looked as though it was perking for a, for a system. <coughs> the law. Excuse me. Their driveway, below your driveway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you go down there's, the driveway, there's, there's another oh. flat surface that we had an engineer out and do test holes, and it'll probably have to be a mound system. Mm -hmm. And we were told that there may be a state <laughs> or a town lean thing, and then we were told there was ARPA, and we're just trying to figure out who we talk to and where this paperwork is. <laughs> I know where to point you. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> I got it written down. All right. Because well, there have been other ones that use that money. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Right. Doing. Yes. And it's in the past. Right. Yeah. Yes. For other things, other than stuff that could. Yeah. Yeah. They keep yeah. hearing these things. We just yeah. don't get any kind of <laughs> this is the direction. No. <laughs> it's been a few years. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But well, yeah, we, but that's, that's that probably the way to go. Yeah. It's an emergency fund kind of thing. Yeah, you've got yeah. the only children up there that yeah, don't yeah. have a functioning septic. All right, well, we'll work with Julie and, and, and dig a little deeper and figure it out. Mm -hmm. So, Julie, I believe you have my email. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. okay. Great. Something. Meanwhile, I just have a quick question. You said something about 
I've somehow missed the name of, of the funding you were talking about that might they might be able to apply for. We're not we're not sure what it's actually called. That's the question, and that's what we're yeah. going to. Um, okay, well, no wonder I missed it. Sorry. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we have yeah. been. <laughs> no Nancy and no Bob to heart today. So. No. No. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. All right. No problem. So meanwhile, you guys want to use the bathroom while you're here? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, thank you. Thank you. And yeah, yeah you don't have to stay for the meeting. <laughs> um, do we have um, Mary, Ross, or, or Greg? Do we have Mary or Greg on Zoom? Um, we have Greg. Greg. Hey, yep. All right. yeah. You hear me? Thank you. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, so I wanted to give uh, Select Board an update on the uh, Riverbrook Drive culvert and our efforts to try to replace it. Um, so we've uh, we've received funding to um, kind of get it to that next level. So Cricket's going to do the permitting. Uh, she met out last week at the site with Jaron Borg uh, from ANR, um, and he likes what he's seeing from Cricket. Um, and then I'm going to reach out to the adjacent landowners. Um, we just received 75,000 from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to put towards this, um, which is really, really good, kind of helpful. Um, and then we had an opportunity to apply for an appropriation from Congress via Senator Leahy's office. So we thought we, why not? Um, and so we applied and we were accepted. Uh, so we could get an appropriation. Um, and then we found out that that money is going through FEMA. Um, and so that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service funds that we have um, cannot be used as match. And so the more we started looking into the process, we just realized it's too difficult and not a good fit. Um, so we have withdrawn from, from that. Um, so we're still looking for, for money to implement. Um, and so uh, one question I have would, um, since we have match uh, and can provide uh, project management, would the town be willing to work with us maybe on a structures grant? I know you guys do um, design and then um, implementation. And I think um, the state's gonna allow multiple, but I could be wrong on that, but um, just, so do you have what's the, the <clears throat> estimated total price? <laughs> Three fifteen. <laughs> Three fifteen. Okay. Okay. That's that's that. what today's price is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck finding yeah. a culvert. Yeah. yeah. Well, they want to grab a bottom. I think the, the culvert's up there. It's in pretty good shape still, but um, they want it for the fish. Yeah, and it would it's it's a bigger structure, so it would um, it would be uh, less susceptible to flooding damage, as well. Right. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me, Greg. Did I understand you to say that you are not going to be taking that seventy five thousand from yesterday? No, we are we are taking the seventy five. Oh, okay. We're not going to take the the appropriation via FEMA, um, okay. for all kind of reasons. <laughs> All kind of reasons, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when do the next um, round of structure grants come? I think next April. Next April. And is there a time frame on oh, the seventh? Uh, your look. hand up. Look. Yeah, John might have some All right. clarification okay. there. All right. Yeah, it's uh, April, and what I had suggested to Greg and Mary was the possibility that. From time to time, I do know that you know we could submit more than one structures grant request. Uh, of course, it all depends on how much money they have available and how much competition there is. Um, but one question um, we need to know from Cooter um, is whether he has any uh, projects that he would be coming up for next year. We are right. have we hope to be having um, the Town Line Road project uh -huh. this year, but the work would not be done until next year. Um, that's our timing right now. And we haven't heard from e trans yet. So right. Nick. didn't he, didn't he was, have like a, a section of like eight culverts he wanted to do too? 
Joan, yeah, was that, um, that I'm not sure grant? all of them are structures grant size. Um, yeah. You know, I, okay. I don't have a lot of information on that. And it was just a, a suggestion because um, the fee process, as alluded to, is, would be miserable for the town. And, miserable for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, and maybe there are some other sources. We have not gotten a cooperative agreement from Fish and Wildlife for a culvert replacement for, what, for two years. And I don't know what the status of that is. So that would be something else to look into and see whether that's going to be happening again and whether we could tap into that. The forest service. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah. It does. Uh, the, the stream does come off the, the forest. So it, um, as something that we can, we can talk to, um, forest service about. Yeah. Well, I, I understand that this is a priority culvert for them, right? Which is one reason yeah. targeting it. So cool. maybe that would be a possibility also. Um, mm -hmm. At the same time that the bridge, West Hill Bridge, is being <laughs> replaced. <laughs> so it could be a busy year next year. Yeah, we might want to hold back on this one. Hmm. I think. Well, it's going to take some more thought for sure. Okay. Well, I just yeah. thought yeah. I would ask. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, we need to gather, um, really see what other irons are in the fire where we um, come up and, and there's definitely gonna be competition for those structure grants. Yeah, yeah certainly. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know, you guys got anything else to say about that? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, not our arbifons. <laughs> no, 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 not our <laughs> Sorry about yeah. that one. We, yeah, we've got too many uses for that yeah. already, I think. Yeah, we won't get that much anyway, right? right. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate right. the work you guys do, um, you know, tending to these and then what you do make happen for the towns. So, um, yeah. Well, um, keep, keep us on the burner. Yeah. Okay. The burner. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. All righty. Um, something in here about the Mascoma card processing services discussion. Yes. Um, Mascoma Bank um, has a service that they can provide to municipalities. And basically what it is, is a way for people to come in and use their credit cards. We don't um, have really a great way to um, for people to charge, whether it be their taxes or um, if you're, you know, buying or paying for uh, multiple pages that you report or picking up or whatnot. So, um, they, they will have a handheld gadget that actually um, we swipe the card and then the card, each card, um, each person who uses their card, it would be a 3.5%. That's not um, for the, it's not on the town, it's on the card holder. So um, I, the one, I had a couple of questions. I still uh, was waiting to get back in touch with um, this gentleman and he, he mentioned in the documentation that it was a $250 fee for the machine. So I just, I want to clarify because it said there was no charge to the town. So I want to clarify that. And then each receipt didn't seem to have, um, like it couldn't, it couldn't justify like what each itemized item was. So I kind of wanted to find out more about the details on the receipt. So I didn't have that for tonight's meeting, but I can. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get a lot of requests for card payments? Yeah, it seems I mean, like yeah. nowadays everybody uses whatever. <clears throat> right. yeah, and this can be either for debit or credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does so. it integrate with any of our programs? Doesn't it, it's more of like it um more like a bank. Statement. It's like a bank. Yeah, it'll it'll um it'll hit our account by the end of the night and then um We'll and you have to pull the information out of the account and go apply it to their tax bill. Right. So it's, it's kind of like when we receive payport payments, I would yeah. assume. Yeah, okay. there's no um, like extra um, footwork really to it at all. It's okay. just a matter of entering, you know, if somebody comes in and wants to 
pay for a building permit or pay for pages or whatever with a debit or credit card, then you just enter cash receipt payment, which is normal process. Um, and if somebody's paying their taxes, it would be the be the same thing. And Nathan's all good with that. Does he recommend that? We haven't spoken to no, Nathan about it's that. It's just one of the services that are going, uh, the our bank is providing for all municipalities yeah. that they have as a customer. So they had reached out to us and we do get quite a few people that request mm -hmm. to right. use that. So we wanted to probably be smart to and offer it if, if there wasn't a big fee, like the yeah. 250 has me kind of wondering. Well, about yeah, that. is that a yearly fee or just a one time? I think it did say one time, but the um, device itself, probably. yeah. But, but we did, she did say that there wouldn't be anything. So yeah, because we didn't pay for our that. scanning machine when we, right? Um, so I, that was just a question I had. So I'll, I'll find out more and let you know. And this is one of the um, one of the systems where the actual fee, the credit card fee, is tacked on to the person the using the card, not deducted from what we get out of it. No, nope. yeah. right. no, nope. 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 They showed examples, and yes. that's why I was curious too, because their examples didn't really show detail of what like the charge was made for. So that was another like we get a bunch of them in a day. It's going to be kind of challenging to keep track of everything. Well, you'd have so. to relate them somehow to the right. sale. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I think it was some kind of get some kind of written receipt too, I would think. Something. Yeah, that's own. why I wanted to talk to them and see what they what other towns are doing so if they you, have it. You've got a paper trail for that, I would think. Right. So right now we don't it's not an option for people to use a credit card. <laughs> There's they can they can go on to the town online. website, yeah, but it doesn't go anywhere, right? And the the only the only options they have when they pay by credit card online is the dog license, utilities, and then taxes. That's all you can pay with a card. Okay. So. And and in that situation now, are we getting the fees taken out of it from our cut when someone okay. pays their taxes? Who I don't know. So. That's through the state. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's they like, use like an e-check or whatever. It's just like a dot. They receive a dollar fifty charge, and then if they use a credit card, um, then it, what is that? Three percent. Three percent. Yep. Um. So yeah, and then it's tacked on to the person who's paying. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're like paying two fifty for taxes, right. it ends so up. So if we already have that in place, yep. how is this? Um, because this can be used for anything. Um, so registration, if somebody yeah. comes in for registration. Realtors getting you know, like a DMV. You can't do a DMV through here. Do no, no. Yeah. Um, but you can do like any of your permits to, you know, just everything that everybody, and a lot of people just don't carry cash anymore. And even a lot insurance. of people, when they come in to pay their taxes, they ask if we have a credit card. Yeah. It was just a system with the online if they you know have, if they make sure they don't have a processing fee just has a different name to it you know you have yeah. the credit card fee and then your processing fee. Right. i don't think right. so i think this was all it's it's different for municipalities than it is for a, a business itself as well it should be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if some just nail down some of those other questions yeah yeah all right to be continued. Thank you. Um, Joan, do um, you have anything else that you wanted to add to the evening? Um, yeah, a few miscellaneous things, just updates. Um, let's see, uh, WRP setting up a pre-construction meeting for the town garage stormwater project. Uh, the start date for that is July 18th and uh, the pre-construction meeting is the 20 June, just had it in my calendar, um, June 23rd. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to make that, but uh, Frank will be there and Cooter presumably will be as well, uh, meeting yeah. some representatives of the construction company and uh, Christian Pelletier from White River Partnership. Just go over, oh, and, and the engineer also, Andres, uh, who did our stormwater um, management plan. So they'll just be going over last minute details, questions, that's whatever might be coming up. Um, phase two. Excuse me, Joe. I'm yeah. sorry, did you say that it was a meeting for the town garage? The town garage stormwater project. Stormwater project. Okay, pardon me. Thank you. I apologize for interrupting. That's okay. Um, phase two of the sidewalk project bids are out and they're due Friday, June 24th at 3 p.m. 
Um, and no word yet, uh, as I mentioned, on the structures grant for Town Line Road from VTRANS. That should be coming sometime soon. That's pretty much all I have. Thank you. Yeah. Is Tony on Zoom? No. Nobody here from the library? <clears throat> no. Um, nobody here from the highway? Um, utilities. You got anything new? No. Oh. Good. Not together. <laughs> Report back yet, yeah, but. No. no. I guess we won't be changing the valve, though. So. No. <laughs> They don't give those away, do they? Three grand a piece. Three grand a piece. Huh? Need 14 of them. Need 14 of them. Well, so. <laughs> that shut us up, didn't it? <laughs> do, um, do the math. That's only, <laughs> yeah. that's only probably going to have to have a couple of them on the other side. They're probably. Right. Eat in. So you're looking that's at. Probably close to grand a piece. You're looking at over 50 grand. Oh, shit. More than that. I know. 42 just for the house. I know. That doesn't count the cup ones. So you got like pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, doesn't count digging them either. No. Right, right. <laughs> so I guess we'll hold them. They actually worked a little better this year for some reason. So. <laughs> Thank God. <Good. laughs> <laughs> that WD40. This definitely puts it. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, for now. Okay. It's good to know for capital planning. Put it, yeah, put it in the capital plan. plan. <laughs> capital planning. Yeah. But it shouldn't be a capital plan because it shouldn't be part of the maintenance program. Yeah. Right. That's why we're raising. That's why we raised the raise rates. The rates. Yeah. yeah. We we're kind of waiting to see. We we did have a meeting with the Wendy Wilton there, and that was pretty productive to show us how to read stuff. And it was pretty interesting to see that. And one of the things you did point out was the fact that we had raised the rates. And in this next year, it will show what that what did. It, did. it takes a year, in, year and a half right, to figure it out. Right. We've yeah. been in a deficit for so many years that. Right. I think I'd said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down through the water sewer rates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're still way cheaper. I mean, for instance, you look what they're asking when you're talking right. thirty thousand dollars, and that doesn't count the tank. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when I made that schedule up on what it costs you for your own personal use, mm -hmm. these things, the people in town get them way dirt cheap. So I do. You know, probably yeah. over it because they're hitting wicked with surcharges for pumping for fuel. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Everything yeah. Works. Well, we'll see. All right. Between nine and twelve thousand dollars to pump the septic tanks for the town. What's that? It's between nine and twelve thousand. Between fourteen and twenty. Oh God, it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is Jeff Gephardt in here? Yes, he is. Jeff, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. What have we got? Uh, hello. Uh, not much. Uh, summer mode. We're working farmers markets and uh, trash and recycling pickup days. Uh, Going to start doing that in Stockbridge as well. These are primarily focused on uh, residents in the Rochester area, the Quintown area. Um, trying to uh, connect them with resources uh, to improve their homes and transportation and energy use, um, particularly pushing uh, uh, for weatherization. All right. That's it. All right. Um, so the master financial policies under old business Speaking of spending money, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping to have um, something to bring forward to the next select board meeting. So maybe we'll be, I'm not sure if we approve it section by section or if we can get a couple sections together. But um, I know Nancy's working with Lois and they're um, also editing and looking at the policies as well. So mm -hmm. 
hopefully we'll have something more substantial that we can give you guys to look at and review. And yep, I think breaking it down section by section is probably the way to go. It's pretty, pretty big. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I know I read through most of it, but whew. Yeah, yeah, a lot to it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, um, have we done any um, made an order of any of the doggy bag dispensers? Things that we kind of figure out the, the simplest, not with a, a, a receptacle, but just the dispensers. Are we going through ARPA funds for that? And that was all approved and ready yeah, to go? I, would, I would think that would be, um, you know, we weren't talking about a whole lot of money here. Is that something that we were going to, um, that Susie provided information on? Or? She, she had, she had some options. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I Should I check with her? The money wise, it was, wasn't all that much money. Didn't we check it? $800. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't all that much money. Because we were not doing the trash can Right, not receptacle. doing the trash can right. receptacle, which just would the require dispenser. more maintenance. Just <laughs> the dispenser, dispensers <clears throat> put around town. Right. And if we figured that the baggies were just being left full at the mm. bottom of the pole, we were going to mm. get rid of the dispenser too. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Take it home. Yeah. Right, take yeah. it and put it in your pocket. Keep your hands warm. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, well, yeah, right. Just, time, yeah. Keep, keep your hands warm. Can we hang the bags in the trees or what? Yeah. <laughs> put them on the yeah. band stand. <laughs> we'll give it a shot, see how it works. Give it a shot and see how it works. Yeah. yeah. So how many shots are we thinking of? There's one on the park and down by the ball field. <laughs> one by the firehouse. <laughs> the firehouse. <laughs> if we're oh, speaking of the firehouse, it's so probably the time fire. to unlock the, that outhouse there. I don't have a lock on it. There's, yeah, there's a lock on there, I think. It's not one I put on. I don't know yeah, I, I don't I don't believe that's no, don't they? Do, yeah. Don't they do it? Dundon does it. Doesn't Dundon do it when they clean it in the winter? Oh, oh, and they like close it up, don't they? Yeah, I think you could tell them to go ahead and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I took my lock it. off after COVID there. Yeah. Left to get out of that. By the twenty fifth. That'll yeah. Yeah, firehouse. I think I got one. That'll be another ten dollar fee. Right. Right. Um. Anything else, you guys? And anyone else wants to talk about online? Then I guess we're going to um, close the open meeting and move into executive session to discuss uh, some real estate issues. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out for the whole meeting. And you on the Zoom. Thank you. Bye, guys.